So let me ask you a question. Is what I'm about to show you considered stealing from the artist? Given the text placements, the gradients, all that good stuff, what do you think? Maybe even these concepts that I found, or maybe these. In my opinion, the versatility of these elements like typography, color, layout, and patterns means using them as inspiration is not necessarily stealing. Each of those elements that I just listed can be implemented or interpreted in countless different ways, making them shared resources rather than exclusive properties on your design. I would say that stealing is actually when you take a reasoning on how a project was designed and not actually what's inside of it. Now, just to not misconstrue anything and using this video as like a case to like steal stuff, I'm not talking about like custom assets or like custom like, you know, patterns like typographies. We're not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm talking about elements of a design that aren't off limits just because someone already used them. Whether if it's a font, a certain layout, a color, things like that. Because maybe you actually have a better solution to a similar problem. And in many cases, a lot of those colors and layouts help. So what I will say is that good design is just good design. Why would you sacrifice a successful graphic just because you don't want a layout to look too similar when the entire brand's language is probably incredibly different? But for me, that's where actually a lot of designers actively lose in. You are so into making your own style or approach when you may not even know what a successful and good graphic may look like yet. So when you see something like this, although they share identical layouts, it doesn't mean that the design is copied. It's just a successful approach, and if it works, you would use it. Then say someone actually comes along who absolutely understands design, maybe it's in the same community or at least like the certain objective for the actual project does something like this, taking the idea of the sideway versus text. Now all of a sudden designers see that and choose to fit into their own style and reasoning. Now from those graphics, you have something like this for a lineup where one person might have focused on the actual versus text to get to their idea, then maybe others gravitated towards the typography of it. And that's actually an example of innovation. And it happens every single day from people's new ideas. And in the most simplest way possible, a good design does not have to actually be original because originality does not exist. Like actually, all you would want to do is just focus on making a good graphic. Then you can start changing things one at a time. And then just that one thing can be innovative enough and stand out. And if you ask yourself, what is good design? I'm talking layout, typography, color, white space, few of those fundamentals that actually a lot of people go to school for. But of course you can learn them on your own the same way, just by paying attention here. Let's do a quick little quiz. All right. Which one of these event posters actually have a better hierarchy and making sure that people actually attend. Yep, the left one. Which one of these designs have a more generally accepted amount of white space? This one. And lastly, which one of these projects have the better font pair? This guy. Now, art is absolutely subjective, but if you did answer any of these wrong, it may be because you're actually not exposed to enough good art, or you're just, of course, still learning. But there is a standard that 99% of good designers understand. That's why having an idea of who to take inspiration from is a very important thing in design. Because, of course, many people have their own styles, right? But the network that you actually end up surrounding yourself with can excel you very quickly at getting the easy part of design finished. Because, to put it bluntly, being good at design is absolutely still the easy part in graphic design because all it takes is time when it comes to actually being a great designer it exposes you to things like target audience tone management research things like that and not just design and if your next question is how do i know if i'm stealing or taking inspiration my first rule is that if you're only looking at one source of inspiration while designing you're only looking at one solution and that designer ended up coming up with their reasoning and also then design their solution that's why it's so easy to get picked out when of course you get called out for stealing other people's work. So multiple sources of inspiration is your answer. Pinterest, the GOAT, I, I really mean that. Behance, save it, Google, Dribble, Instagram, wherever you have to look, just make sure you look. But also don't forget to build out or save the projects that you find interest in. For one, immediately you can check out sesohq.com and select the mood boards, because I also do this as well. Build out a source of projects you search for for about whatever, 30 minutes or so. You're hopefully left with at least eight really cool products that inspired you enough or impressed you to note it down somewhere. And then there's pretty much a 99% chance the next time you open that project up to help you out when you're stuck with your design, you're going to find yourself being a lot more inspired. And if you find yourself saving art and forgetting why you saved it, for one, your memory is awful. I'm just kidding. But the realistic reason as well is it's just very normal. So what I would ask for you is on your first couple mood boards, write down or at least circle what inspires you the most. And the reason it did circling certain areas and just saying like, hey, I love the way the text looks right here. Or maybe on a separate graphic. Oh, man, this layout is really good. Then pretty much simultaneously, you're building a good design directory that you 
you could reference for for life. Then you build one of these mood boards once a week and you start becoming a machine. And then rather it being, how can I design this? It becomes what will solve my problem the best, which is actively a better approach to a problem because simply put, it's just measurable. It allows you to take elements of a design and then either take away or even just like put in things that may support your theory better. L like, let me just put this out there for a quick second. I promise you when I say getting caught stealing on your projects, like on your work, like once in your life is actually part of the process. It happened to me like three times, I'm not gonna lie. But of course it was the very early stages of my growth. But let me just say, if it hasn't happened to you, good job, nice. But if it has happened to you and it was pretty recent, then one, you may be new, but also your practice and research just may be lacking. So that's a pretty easy fix. And to me, that's the cool part. So what I wanna do is just basically say the TLDR, if somehow you made it to the end of this video and you still understand what I'm trying to say, is that stealing, bad. Stealing like an artist, very good. You can literally be one layout and font choice that you create that blows up your entire social profile. I mean, I've seen it happen a bunch of times. Nine times out of 10, that person just had a mood board. So with that, that's the end of the video here today. So naturally, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like the video. Also subscribe if you guys are new, absolutely. But also check out selfway.com, SysoHQ, or SysoHQ.com if you wanna check out the Everything Pack. It's a one-time purchase, the most brilliant. I, it's the best money on design you will ever spend. Coin it, I'm literally ceiling of approval it, money back guaranteeing it in this video. I'm tired of saying I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna, money back guarantee, I guarantee it's the best way you'll spend on design ever. But with that being said, switch so HQ out. Now to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace, enjoy your day.